China is rapidly advancing its naval capabilities, particularly with its Shang-class attack submarines, designed to replace the outdated Han class. The Shang class, featuring advanced sonar systems, an echoic tiles, and YJ-82 anti-ship missiles, is as quiet as the US Navy's Los Angeles-class submarines. With virtually unlimited endurance from its nuclear reactor, the Shang class is a formidable adversary. The US Department of Defense expects more Shang class submarines, including the Type 093B variant with enhanced missile capabilities, to be built soon. China's industrial efficiency and proximity to potential conflict zones give it a strategic advantage, challenging U.S. naval dominance. China is the only great power thinking seriously about naval power today. Beijing sits atop the second largest economy in the world in GDP terms and the largest economy in PPP terms. China's rulers are effectively deploying the vast wealth and technological advancements in Beijing's bid to become the world's dominant superpower. By the 100th year anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China the year 2049. As part of the effort, China is building a fleet of advanced submarines that can counter the US Navy's submarine force. Paired with China's industrial efficiency, Beijing has an edge that, if not in terms of quality, certainly surpasses the Americans in terms of quantity. That, as well as the fact that any future engagement between the US Navy and the Chinese Navy would be much closer to Chinese shores means that China's growing submarine fleet will have considerable leverage over their American enemies. The Han-class sub informs the Shang-class submarine, the Shang-class attack submarine is China's second-generation nuclear-powered attack sub. It was designed to replace the aging Han-class attack submarine, which had considerable drawbacks. China's first-generation nuclear-powered attack submarine, the Han-class, was China's first nuclear-powered submarine ever. Its development was a significant leap in China's naval abilities. But the Han class was a mess compared to its Soviet or American rivals. This boat had a length of approximately 98 meters and a displacement of around 5,100 tons when submerged. The Han class was powered by a single nuclear reactor. She was equipped with six 533 mm bow torpedo tubes capable of launching a variety of anti-submarine and anti-surface vessel torpedoes. She carried around 75 crew members. The common complaint among China's submariners was that the Han class was far too noisy. In undersea warfare, stealth and silence are the greatest advantages. What's more, the Han class was about 20 years behind similar US vessels. And its performance was limited by the development level and manufacturing capacity of China's defense industrial base at the time of its construction. As for the Shang class submarine, there are roughly six in service to China. In terms of her capabilities, the Shang class comes equipped with six 533mm bow torpedo tubes of similar capability to its Han class predecessor. Further, the Shang class can launch YJ-82 anti-ship and land attack missiles. Meanwhile, the Shang-2 class submarine type 093B is equipped with a vertical launch system for YJ-18 supersonic and anti-ship missiles as well as variants of the anti-ship CJ-10 cruise missile. Shang-class attack submarines carry around 100 crew members, and their defensive capabilities include advanced sonar systems and an echoic tiles to reduce the submarine's acoustic signature. The Shang-class is considered to be as quiet as the US Navy's Los Angeles-class attack submarines, with a noise level of around 110 decibels. Shang-class subs are powered by a nuclear reactor, giving them virtually unlimited endurance and range. The top cruising speed of this boat is estimated to be around 30 knots or just shy of 35 miles per hour. She displaces around 6,675 tons when submerged for the Type 093A variant, and 6,700 tons when submerged for the Type 093B variant. China is planning to build more Shang-class submarines. With the US Department of Defense estimating that China will build the Type 093B guided missile nuclear attack submarine in the next year or so. China continues to catch up to the Americans in key areas. The Shang-class submarine represents one key area where China's military is moving toward parity with the Americans. The Shang-class submarine is a real improvement from what came before it. The West is foolish both for underestimating China's threat and capabilities as well as for assuming that the United States can counter and or deter China indefinitely.
China is currently engaged in one of human history's greatest shipbuilding sprees. The Chinese Navy's fleet size has recently surpassed the U.S. giving China the world's largest navy. And while the U.S. still maintains an advantage over the Chinese with respect to naval fleet quality, the Chinese shipbuilding spree has put the entire Indo-Pacific region on notice. And naturally, observers are concerned not just with what the Chinese are putting to sea, but with what the Chinese are putting beneath the sea that means submarines. Submarines hold a special place in the public's imagination. Sinister, even by the standards of a war machine, submarines conjure fear and uncertainty. It makes sense submarines lurk beneath the surface of the ocean, unseen, striking surgically and at will, the military equivalent of a shark. Currently, China's People's Liberation Army Navy submarine force operates a fleet of 56 submarines. China possesses both a nuclear-powered submarine fleet and a robust diesel-electric submarine fleet, the Nuclear Threat Initiative explains. While the PLA Navy is currently developing its nuclear-powered submarine capabilities, its diesel-electric submarine fleet remains the backbone of China's submarine forces. While its growth is declining, United States government reports indicate the fleet could grow to between 65 and 70 submarines by 2020s. Of particular concern are China's six Type 094 ballistic missile submarines and six Type 093 nuclear-powered attack submarines. Satellites first documented the Type 094 Jin-class ballistic missile submarine in late 2006. By 2007, the Type 094 was first commissioned, and today, six are in service making regular nuclear deterrence patrols. The Type 094 is generally regarded as China's first sea-based nuclear deterrent. Initially, the Type 094 was armed with 12 JL-2 SLBMs. Each missile with one warhead, with a range extending to 4,500 miles meaning that parts of Alaska were within range if the submarine were parked off the shore of China. In 2022, however, the JL-2s were switched out in favor of JL-3s, which had a range of up to 6,200 miles meaning that the Type 094 could target the continental US from the South China Sea. The PLA Navy submarine force also operates six nuclear-powered attack submarines, the Type 093 Shang class. The first Type 093 was laid down in 1994 at the Bohai shipyard, but not commissioned until 2006 thanks to significant technical difficulties. The Type 093 is armed with six 533mm torpedo tubes that can be used to launch anti-submarine or anti-ship torpedoes with either wire, acoustic, or wave homing devices. At present, China is developing the Type 095 nuclear attack submarine, which is expected to have a reduced acoustic signature and improved hull design and the Type 096 ballistic missile submarine, which will begin construction in the next decade and will be armed with the JL-3s.